Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, where every single week we share resources, tools, and answer the questions you have so you can get the most out of your tapping to eliminate self-sabotage and to take more action. Today, we are in part three of the Pro U series. And what I mean by Pro U is making choices that are all about taking care of you. If you haven't checked out the first two parts, you can find them at tappingpodcast.com. Episodes 342 and episodes 343 are the first two parts. Next week, we're going to share one more with you. If you haven't done so already, you can make sure that you get all of the podcasts delivered to your smart device, your computer, your tablet. Just go to tappingpodcast.com. You'll find all of the instructions on how to get every episode as we move forward. This is Gene Montrose Stilling. and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 344, originally aired January 2nd, 2019. Hi, everyone. I hope this finds you well wherever you are in whatever time of day you're getting a chance to listen to this. Thanks for spending some time with me. A very happy new year to you as we step into the new year trying to make choices where we're taking care of ourselves. Creating resolutions are great, but if we're not doing concrete, specific things to take care of ourselves, it's going to be difficult for us to meet any of our goals. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time talking about and tapping on being okay putting ourselves first. And I would be willing to bet that some of you simply hearing that phrase, there was a little knot in your stomach. Because you are thoughtful, you are careful, you want the best for others, and there's a part of you that recognizes the fact that you have so much and that we need to be caring for others. And both of those statements can be true, and at the exact same time, we need to be taking care of ourselves. Because if you are not taking care of you, if you are not making thoughtful, deliberate, pro-you choices, no one else is going to do that. I just know this from spending lots of time conversating with my audience that you are probably in a circumstance where you're the person that takes care of everybody in your life. When things go wrong, you're the first person they call. When there is struggle, they reach out for help. And on some level, as a person that gets some of that as well, that that's flattering. It's nice to know that people see us as comfortable and capable and able to help them in their times of needs. But if we are not doing that in a way where we're taking care of ourselves, then we're doing everyone a disservice because if we're not healthy, we can't help others. So today we're going to spend a little time tapping on being able to put ourselves first and take care of ourselves and not feeling guilty for doing exactly that. So to begin with, what I want you to do is just tap on the side of your hand, take a nice big deep breath for me. And just move from tapping point to tapping point, repeating after me. Whenever I think about taking care of myself, I feel guilty. I feel selfish. I feel mean. When I take care of myself, I feel like I'm letting other people down. Because so many people are dependent upon me. The people around me are struggling. The people around me are in pain. I don't want them to struggle. I don't want them to be in pain. I don't want them to have difficult times. But if I spend all of my time taking care of everyone else, then I'm not going to be healthy. I'm not going to be safe. 
I'm not going to be in a good position moving forward. I need to spend time taking care of me. Because if I don't take care of me, no one else will. Taking care of me is my responsibility. Taking care of me is something I must do. Taking care of me is important for the short and long term. If I don't take care of me, it's going to be impossible for me to take care of anyone else. If I don't take care of me, no one else is going to do it. I must take care of me. I know that's not just a suggestion. It is an imperative. When I take the time to take care of me, I am happier. I am healthier. I am safer. When I am healthier, the world is a better place. When I am healthier, it is easier for me to respond to others' needs. When I am healthier, I make better choices. I give myself permission to take care of me. I give myself permission to not feel guilty when I am taking care of me. I am worthy of taking care of myself. I give myself permission to take care of myself. Nice deep breath. I have a feeling that this is a hard one to really let it sink in because again, I I've, I've had conversations and email interactions and social media interactions with so many of you that you are so kind. You are so wonderful that you're always putting others first. But as we've been talking about in this little mini series, we need to be making pro us choices. We need to be taking care of ourselves because if we're not, no one else is going to do that. Next week is the fourth and final installment of the series. I can't wait to share it with you. It's a really fun topic that I think you'll get a good chuckle out of, and it will be a good moment of transformation. Because again, when we are healthier, when we are happier, it is easier for us to take the choices that we want to make to move towards our goals to eliminate those sabotaging behaviors. If you haven't done so yet, and there's someone in your life who could use a tap along just like this, particularly at the beginning of the year to start off the new year on the right foot, please, please, please be our ambassador. Pass it along. Don't spam your inbox. Don't send it to everybody in the world. But there's a person or two who could really use this. Please let them know about this. If you have a question, if you have a comment, if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in the future, please let me know. I can always be reached directly at gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqna.com. If you're on the website, just click on the big contact link up at the top in the menu. If you're inside of our app where you not only have the audio recordings of all these tap-alongs, but tapping scripts as well, you can click on the contact link inside of the app. It's the Tapping Q&A app, which you can find in both the Android and Apple apps app stores. You can find all of our past episodes at tappingpodcast.com. We're closing in on almost 400 episodes between full episodes, bonus episodes, and all of that goodness. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrestelli. I hope you have a great day. I hope the new year has started off on the right foot, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. 
The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright Gene Montrostelli, Tapping Q&A 2016. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Montrostelli or Tapping Q&A.